we've got a case on our hands. Two mysterious exoplanets, and we need to profile them. This looks like a lot of work. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's hack an exoplanet. Hi, I'm Katya. And I'm Ali. We're from ESA Education. We need your help to investigate these exoplanets, some of the oddest planets orbiting other stars in our galaxy. The European Space Agency develops satellites that study exoplanets. One of those satellites is called CHAOPS. You'll hear more about CHAOPS in a little bit and how you can use its data. Yes, you heard me right. You'll use a satellite's data for your very own school project. Are you ready to be a space detective and hack an exoplanet? Let's start from the beginning. What exactly is an exoplanet and why do we study them? I know someone very special that can help. My name is Didier Collot. I'm working at the University of Cambridge in the United Kingdom and at ETH Zurich. I'm professor of physics and um, my activity is essentially to detect planet and to find how they look like. An exoplanet is a planet like in the solar system, but there's a big difference. This planet is not next to us. It's not orbiting our sun. This planet is orbiting another sun. That's what we call stars. So an exoplanet is a planet orbiting another stars. And they are very, very far away and they're difficult to detect. Well, the first things that we want to understand is and why we are. I mean, why we are the way we are. I mean, why the solar system is like that. And, and until uh, not so long ago, we, we thought that we were the only one. Not any other planet had been detected on other stars. Well, a bit less than 30 years ago, uh, with my supervisor, we made the first evidence um, public that there are other planets on other stars. I know it's pretty obvious. We know there are plenty of planets orbiting other stars, but how are exactly these planets? Why, what do they look like? I mean, can you tell us a bit more about the structure? the size, the mass, the atmosphere, and this is what we don't know. And right now, there's a lot of um, programs, there are a lot of telescopes, machines, that are trying to understand that. It's a big question that relates to us, because at the end, we want to understand ourselves. Why the solar system is exactly like that? And why do we have the Earth like that? Because having the Earth like that means we have life. So it's all connected to understanding our place in the universe. Now that we know what exoplanets are, we need to find out how we can get more information so we can profile them. I know an astrophysicist we can call. Hello, Kate Isaac speaking, Chaos Project Scientist. Hi Kate, we have two exoplanets that we need to profile. Any ideas how we can do that? Ah, hi Ali. Yes, I think we can help there. There are four main ways in which we find and study exoplanets. The first is direct imaging. As the name suggests, we actually take a picture of the exoplanet. It's not easy though, as the stars are typically much brighter than the exoplanet. And what are the other three ways? The three remaining techniques study the exoplanets indirectly. Astrometry and radial velocity measure the wobble in the properties of the star. Wobble? What do you mean by wobble? Yeah, wobble is a bit of a funny word to use. The wobble is caused by the pull of the planet on the star as it moves around its orbit. Astrometry measures the changes in the position of the star on the sky, and radial velocity measures the changes in the light signature of the star. So what about the last technique? Ah, interesting. This is called transit photometry and is the most commonly used technique to discover and study exoplanets. Here we monitor the light from the star over time and look for the dip as the planet moves between us and the star. The size of the dip depends on the size of the exoplanet and of the star. The bigger the exoplanet compared to the star, the bigger the dip. We learn a lot about the exoplanet and it's also its host star when we use this technique. Interesting. So which technique can we use to profile our two exoplanets? Well, we use transit photometry on the CHAOPS satellite. The name CHAOPS stands for Characterizing Exoplanet Satellite. The mission has been designed to study exoplanets that are already known and to learn more about them. Since its launch in December 2019, CHAOPS has studied several hundred exoplanets, some large, some small, some hot, some cold. 
It's made some very surprising and interesting discoveries, including finding previously unknown exoplanets. So could we use Chaops to observe our exoplanets? Yes, you'll be able to use the light curves that we get to help solve your case. I warn you though, it's going to take a bit of teamwork to hack the Chaops data. Great, we'll collect the details and get back to you. Okay, great. Looking forward to hearing from you then. Now that you know what an exoplanet is and how we can use the data from satellites, let's find out how you can help us solve this case. The data we collect with satellites are like fingerprints. At first glance, they all appear very similar, but if you look very carefully, you can identify certain characteristics that are unique to your exoplanet. In early 2023, we're going to point Chaops to two exoplanets, unlike anything you've ever seen. Target A will be the giant Kelt 3b. This exoplanet is unlike anything we have seen in our solar system. It's a large, puffy gas world orbiting very close to its host star. It's even bigger than Jupiter, the biggest planet orbiting our sun. And because it's so close to its host star, it's very, very hot. In fact, it's so hot on this planet that there are some stars where it'd be possible to go to cool off. We call these hot, gassy planets hot Jupiters. Cheops will then turn its eye towards target B, the almost tropical TOI 560C. Compared to Kel 3B, TOI 560C is almost tropical, though still too warm for we humans to go there for holidays, since it's still hundreds of degrees Celsius warmer than Earth. This youthful exoplanet is over two times the size of the Earth, and we believe has a similar internal structure to Neptune. Because of these similarities, we call this type of exoplanets a mini-Neptune. Now, we want you to use your detective skills to investigate these two targets by joining the first ever ESA Education Hack an Exoplanet event in April 2023. During the hackathon, you will analyze data from Chaops to profile our two mysterious exoplanets, Kel3b and TOI 560c. The hackathons will be hosted online as well as in participating schools and other locations. Which is your favorite planet? Cast your vote for the winner. Will it be the giant Kel3b or the almost tropical TOI 560c? Head over to hackanexoplanet.isa.int to vote and become an exoplanet detective. Complete the quiz and other activities to receive your badge. In the meantime, we'll be busy. Chaops will observe the targets and collect data for you to hack. Be sure to cast your vote by February 2023. Stay tuned for more information. See you soon. Thank you.